Death Stranding, once exclusive to the PS4, is now on PC. With the proper specs, this game can look and run so much better than it did on PS4, and it even has some neat Half-Life and Portal crossover content to boot. That's all to say that if you missed Death Stranding the first time around, now's the time to become an expert porter. Like it or not, it's a bold game, and in the year of our Lord 2020, it's quite uh, timely with its theme of being an essential worker during a catastrophic event that leads to a nationwide quarantine. For those living under a rock and not to avoid timefall, here's the short of it. Death Stranding is Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima's latest. You're a delivery man played by actor Norman Reedus amid a deadly paranormal phenomenon called the Death Stranding that forces the surviving population to seek refuge in underground bunkers. While the game has a fair share of third-person stealth action, it's also quite literally a walking or hiking simulator, where balancing your cargo and traversing harsh terrain are core gameplay elements. It's all wrapped around a heavily cinematic and somewhat bizarre story about human connection. Self-serious, but engrossing at the same time. Its broader message is made manifest in its asynchronous multiplayer in which the actions of others, such as laying down ladders, bridges, and roads, will affect your own game world. Everyone's just helping each other make their deliveries, stay alive on a hostile surface, and chug their oddly placed monster energy drinks to keep on keeping on. Even though you never see your fellow players, giving them a few likes for their work and getting a few in return is sort of uplifting. We recognized it as one of the best of 2019, and my friend and colleague Callie Plaguey spoke to its qualities in her full review from last year. Now I'm here to report that it remains a superb game and it has been enhanced by PC-exclusive features that'll draw you into its vast, beautiful, and desolate world. The enhanced experience is of course subject to your own PC specs, and performance may vary. I ran a high-end build using an Intel Core i7-7700K, 16GB of RAM, a Samsung 970 Pro NVMe SSD, and the NVIDIA RTX 2080 video card. I had every setting maxed out, and ran a resolution of 2560 by 1080, which is 21 by 9 ultra wide, and with Nvidia's RTX exclusive DLSS 2.0 anti-aliasing enabled. Here's a quick look at your options. DLSS in particular is a tremendous option for those running higher resolutions like 4K. It's Nvidia's AI-based super sampling tech that provides native res image quality while rendering a slightly lower resolution underneath, boosting your FPS output. However, you will need an RTX video card to use this feature. It's worth noting that anisotropic filtering is not a native option in the menu, and you'll have to manually force it through the NVIDIA control panel or AMD equivalent. This is important because Death Stranding features long stretches of land, and anisotropic filtering does a lot of work in cleaning up the image quality of surfaces in the distance. Throughout my time with the game, I was able to maintain 90 to 110 FPS out in the open world and in heated moments of intense action regardless of how heavy the weather effects got. Cutscenes are capped to 60 FPS, but that's largely a non-issue. While I'm not able to test out 4K metrics due to circumstances, others such as Digital Foundry are reporting great performance and visuals with 4K and DLSS, as well as solid results from modest machines with the proper settings. I wouldn't say frame rate is critical to your success or the overall enjoyment, but it certainly bolsters the Death Stranding experience. Gameplay ran like a dream with silky smooth performance, which made action sequences more manageable, and the treks across vast plains more pleasing. Since I'm running an NVMe SSD, the game initially loads in a matter of a few seconds, and even quicker in every other instance. Again, if you have the right hardware, it's a drastic improvement over the PS4 version. Death Stranding also features native controller support, but if you're inclined to use a keyboard and mouse, the control scheme translates sensibly. The only issue is that Death Stranding has a big focus on movement, and whether on foot or in a vehicle, WASD might not be your best bet. As for the PC-exclusive Valve crossover content, it should put a smile on the faces of Half-Life and Portal fans. It consists of six short side quests sprinkled throughout the game. These are given through emails marked with the Lambda, and each instance asks you to track down a companion cube that's out in the world. The story behind these tasks take a mysterious tone, breaking the fourth wall, but we won't spoil what happens here. Now the gear that you get out of the quests can be quite useful. While Gordon's glasses and the Valve headpiece are purely cosmetic, the gravity glove lets you pick up cargo from a distance. The head crab hat can use Sam's blood to replenish stamina. And the Half-Life truck better withstands deterioration. I know, playing Courier with the occasional action sequence may not sound enticing, but if you have the time and patience, there's nothing quite like it. Death Stranding can be quite an intense experience. 
encountering the terrifying ghostly BTs who often occupy hostile zones en route to your objective, or crossing paths with rogue mule bandits. But most other times, Death Stranding is incredibly therapeutic. You have a lot of time to reflect on your actions and the story beats, while soaking in the beautiful vistas and mountain ranges on your way to finish delivery orders as a soothing low roar song plays. With Death Stranding being a largely visually captivating experience, this is where the PC version shines specifically. Enhanced visuals and much higher frame rates further elevate those awe-inspiring moments. By no means was the PS4 version a slouch when it came to impressive visuals. The cutscenes starring finely detailed character models and environments are a testament to that. But through this magnificent port here on PC, the world you explore in Death Stranding can be all the more striking.